Yeah, Catapult in particular has just gone from strength to strength over the last 12 months as the market's come to realise the enormous opportunity that this company has in elite sports. And the fact that they really only just scraped the, you know, scraped the surface so far. You know, they've got a, whichever way you look at it, it's probably between 5 to 8% market share of elite athletes in the world. Uh, it's not hard to form a view that the majority of elite athletes around the world at one point or another are going to start wearing wearables and catapults the leader in this space. So you know, it's done extremely well and it's done an acquisition today. That acquisition really is the next step for um, Catapult in cementing it as the global leader in, wearable, in te technology in elite at sports. It's brought a company called uh, XOS. Now XOS is a leader in the US in video analytics. Uh, video analytics is a relatively mature technology in sport. This is where you know, lead coaches get to look at video over and over, over again, slice it and dice it, look at you know, different segments how they want. Um, look at the history of different plays over a period of time and you know, work out strategies. Um, but what you find in elite sports is that some companies have video analytics, some companies have wearables, not many have both. So you know, what Catapult is going to do with this acquisition is really leverage up both parts of the business, the acquired business in their own, to really broad, broad, broaden out into all the elite sports around there and um, sell this product. Yeah, well, they brought it around about, I think it's about 10 times EBITDA, which is, you know, it's kind of up there. But we think the strategic value that this acquisition is going to bring via the ability to leverage into the, the sales force that um, this company has itself in the US. You know, it's been around for 10 plus years, and it's got something like 22 salesperson people in the US. These guys have very, very deep relationships with, within the teams that they're actually, you know, supporting their product into. Um, there's something like 168 teams that, that these guys have relationship with, the Catapult have no relationship whatsoever. So there's a nice little cross-sell going on there. But once Catapult and uh, XOS bring together the union of both video and analytics and the wearable technology, they can really do some very exciting things in terms of data and, and analytics they can bring to both the head coaches, which brought primarily use the video, and the conditioning coaches that are going to use the, the wearable technologies. Oh, look, we always want to have a bit of closer look about how the integration is going to work together. Uh, it seems to us that you know, the, the management team at XOS is um, now settled down after some turmoil a few years back. Um, so, and they're all staying on, uh, which is pretty key. So I think, yeah, for the moment, this will be run as a standalone business. And then, you know, uh, Catapult and XOS have been in a sort of a loose joint venture for a little while, working out basically how you put um, video and wearables together. So they obviously know each other well. Um, so I think it's just been an extension upon that. So really the big question on Catapult has been and continues to be, where ultimately will this business get to in terms of its penetration into elite sports? Now, at the moment that market share is between five, eight percent, depending on which measurement you want to look at it. Can it get to 20, 40, 50 percent? The answer is probably yes. I mean, there's a strong case to say that you know, as time rolls on and technology just pervades everything in our work, in our personal lives, the same thing is going to happen in elite sports. They're going to bring more and more, and more technology solutions into become better teams. And it seems to me that any club that can afford this sort of technology is probably going to employ it at some point in time. And Catapult is the leader in that area. The other really exciting aspect of the transactions that are done today is the other acquisition they did was Player Tech. Now, there'll be some time where this is anything meaningful. But this is a move into the pro consumer market. That is, not the elite clubs, not the Manchester United of the world or you know, the New York Giants. This is talking about you know, your, your, your second tier, you know, your, your sub-professional level clubs. And there's an awful lot of these clubs in the world. They take this pro sport very seriously as well. They also want a solution to how they can bring technology to deliver better game day results for their teams. Um, so that opportunity for Catapult you know, could be you know, many times larger than what the elite sport is. So you know, getting in mind about the ultimate valuation of Catapult really is forming a judgment on where they're going to get to in those, those two areas. The one thing we're confident at though is what they're looking at, where they are today is just scratching the, the tip of the iceberg where they're actually going to get to and we think you know, the stock is worth many times where it's trading at today.